the Joker, the Harlequin of Hate, the Clown Prince of Crime. Everyone knows that the Joker is Batman's number one foe. He first appeared in Batman number one. Batman number one came out on April 25th, 1940. This was actually the second appearance of Robin as well. First time Batman had his own book. Prior to that, he appeared only in Detective Comics, the title in which he first appeared. So the Joker, who was not intended to be a long-lasting villain, as it turns out, made his appearance here, and as we all know, he is a crazy lunatic killer, which is kind of his appeal. Joker, by the way, is coming out again in a new version, new variation, uh, in the Suicide Squad, but we won't talk about that too much here. Here we see the first uh, appearance of the Joker. Uh, this is a splash page from Batman number one. Actually, there were several stories in this issue. Uh, Joker appeared in two of them, the first full story, and then the fourth uh, full, full story in this issue. So we see Joker plotting. He is uh, interested in jewelry for the most part and other works and works of art and he gets his stuff through killing people. In this issue we see that he is an accomplished chemist. It doesn't actually say that but we see him with uh, using poison, using his famous venom gas, or joker gas, excuse me, and various other chemical compositions to disable the police and others. As we see in this image here, uh, the rictus of hate of death uh, gets one of the uh, rich men whose uh, diamond the Joker covets. This is a type of death we see in many, many Joker stories in many, many medium media. And so here we see uh, the Joker uh, surreptitiously killing his opponents. Um, we see his trademark purple uh, suit. We see his trademark pale skin, green hair, the maniacal laugh or grin that he constantly has. He laughs a lot. Uh, just the way this story is put together, he's clearly insane, but he has a purpose. He is out to get the goods and to fool and make fun of the authorities. Batman, of course, doesn't like it when crazy people go killing people in his hometown, so he takes after the Joker. And here we see Joker and Batman engaged in fisticuffs on a speeding car. Uh, Joker gets the best of Batman here and kicks him and knocks him into the water. Remember, Batman is just a regular guy. He's not Superman. That's a whole other comic book. Here we see some themes. We uh, first see themes that show up in other Joker stories. Joker disguises himself. One of the interesting things is the Joker's tactics in this comic book are used very, very much by Heath Ledger's Joker in uh, The Dark Knight, in which, among other things, Joker disguises himself as a police officer, as he does here. And, again, he gets his, his victim. Batman leaps into action again, taking him out, we th supposedly. Uh, Joker's a tough guy. He actually shows quite a bit of physical versatility in this Batman number one. The art uh, is by uh, Bob Kane. Uh, the writer is Bill Finger. They are the two uh, creators of Batman and Robin. So Joker is battling Batman and he loses track of his bullets and runs out. And he is... Uh, also kicked here by Robin. Robin is uh, really a, a bit player in this. He shows up. He helps track the Joker for Batman. Uh, he ends up uh, being kind of a pawn. But he does manage to get the Joker with his foot. And allows Batman to apply the coup de grace. And then Joker is thrown in jail. This is the end of the first Joker story ever. The first Joker story in Batman number one, which we followed by a second Joker story here, uh, which we'll see in just a moment. Also in this issue, we have the first appearance of Catwoman in a separate story. We'll cover that later. So the second story with the Joker begins two days later. And here is the splash page for that, kind of giving a foreshadowing of 
Batman and Robin's battle against uh, the Harlequin of Hate. He's referred to uh, by that nickname specifically in this uh, story. The story opens up with Joker in jail, and he's wearing purple prison clothes. Interesting. Uh, that they give him his own color. Um, and as we see, this is again similar, very similar to what we see Heath Ledger doing in The Dark Knight. He uses uh, uh, implanted explosives to blow himself out of jail. And he kills lots of people in these two stories, by the way, including quite a few police officers and prison guards, as we see in this issue. So, Joker goes back to his uh, uh, circus of his parade of crime, and he is doing in people and catches the attention, of course, of bats once more. And in this one, we do see Joker uh, working with his chemistry set. So he's clearly, very clearly, um, uh, has a scientific background. Uh, an interesting point in the earlier story, one of the judge, one of the people he kills is a judge who he says put him away uh, for two years. So again, we have the in, in, inference that Joker is a career criminal who has been uh, imprisoned before he assumed his current uh, look, since it's rather unique. Interesting thing here, Batman in these early stories is still a vigilante. He is not uh, a friend of the police, or at least the police don't see him as a friend. And so when they find an unconscious Batman after Joker deals with him, they attempt to unmask him, uh, whereupon Batman wakes up and has to smack the cops. So he is breaking the law by actually fighting the cops. So, but as we know, he's on the side of good. In these early stories, Bruce Wayne is a close friend of Commissioner Gordon, not Batman being a friend of Commissioner Gordon. And here, Bruce Wayne, instead of being the millionaire fop that he pretends to be in many stories, he is rather showing a brain. And it's his idea to plant a fake story uh, to entice the Joker out to come and steal a famous gem. Joker takes the bait, of course. There's some battling, some chasing. We cut across to uh, this scene where Robin is in peril. He shows his acrobatic skills. Remember, Robin was... A, an acrobat, member of the Flying Graysons. So the artwork in here is typical 1940s Golden Age artwork. It's a little bit rough compared to a lot of current stuff, but it's really good, and the story is actually quite good. Both these Joker stories uh, are would hold up in the modern age, as again referenced by the borrowing of many of these um, story points by the Dark Knight movie. Joker uh, is in a sense hoist by his own petard. He is uh, accidentally stabs himself when Batman throws him into a wall and the knife plunges into his own heart. And we believe at first that Joker is dead and then uh, Doctor realizes this man is alive. So Joker will come back at some point. Batman creators, Bill Finger, Bob Kane, Inker and Letter, Jerry Robinson, they did a good job on this one. Joker's next appearance was in Batman, will be in Batman number two. We'll review that one here in a bit. So again, everyone, thank you very much. This has been a video review by SuperheroReviews.com. Visit our website for more Bat stuff. Thank you. And keep the Joker away.